In 1995, present day Arokya Milk wanted to enter the milk business. At that time, they built a different brand that sold ice creams. Arun Ice Cream was a brand they had built for 23 years till then. The new venture had taken form and things were progressing under the brand of Arokya Milk. State owned Oven Milk dominated the market then by having distribution centers across streets. The toned milk was a de facto available milk for a large part of the citizens in urban areas by Oven. There were daily tokens, monthly cards, and there were dispensing machines in their booths. People had to stay in the queue to get their share of milk in a vessel brought from their homes. Sometimes as early as 4 a.m. You needed to stay in the queue. Newborns and school going kids were part of many families who needed milk the very first thing in the morning. So you could see the early morning long queue in front of all the oven milk booths in those times. There were chances that the supply of milk would go empty and you might be the person who would not get your share of milk if you were late. For many people the sunrise was happening when they were standing in the queue. Milk sealed in a pre-packed plastic pouch was very new and had started to enter the market. Arokya's milk founder wanted to enter the milk market with a differentiation so that they can have a price leverage. He doesn't want it to go with the same standardized milk that was already provided by Oven. The founder was convinced by the idea of going about toned milk, but the management team were reluctant to the founder's idea. The management team was telling him going with a higher price against the market leader with a different product will not work. The management team was not at all convinced. Since he had a lot of conviction about the new idea, Arokya's founder Mr. Chandra Mohan wanted to convince the management. He thought of bringing in a marketing firm that can share his views professionally. Then he wrote a mail to the author of the book Positioning Al Rais. The founder wrote a mail inviting Al Rais to come and address his team with his expertise. Mr. Al Rais could convince his team to go ahead with the new product he thought. There was no reply. By that time, Arokya's founder Mr. Chandra Mohan had to travel to the USA for other reasons. Before that trip, he sent a mail with a request for a meeting at his place, that is Atlanta, USA. Al Rais was a very senior person and he was 78 years at that time. Both met in a hotel in Atlanta and the founder hired his consultancy to establish the new product. When Al Rais visited Arokya's office in India, he came to know a lot about their new product, the market landscape, and particularly about the difference between toned and standardized milk. The team clarified all his doubts. After listening, Al Rais said, "Don't try to convince people about the difference between standardized and toned milk in a colloquial language." Further, Al Rais drew a circle on the nearby board and wrote 4.5% fat in it. The circle with the fat content has been made predominantly visible in the packets. Without the right positioning, marketing will be of little help.